Hello, everyone. I'm Boanne Oliver. I'm your Executive Director of Sales here at Atlanta Apparel, and we're excited you're joining us today for your Exhibitor, Info Exhibitor Information Session. The session is being recorded so that we can send out the future with links active in it. Also, they're going to see multiple faces from a couple departments here. We like to come together, so we all work together to produce this show. Um, this information session is going to go over all the details you need, but the most important thing I can say is to find your welcome email and find your exhibitor service manual. Those have been sent to you from Janice Dixon and from your sales manager, so please find those and you will find active links to everything in there as well. The dates for the show is Tuesday through Thursday, August 2 through 4. It is different being a Tuesday through Thursday, so please note that. The times are 9 to 6 p.m. for selling. The show ends at 6 p.m. every day, including Thursday, so please note for travel to not close early. You're going to see posted that we ask you to be here at 8.30. Exhibitors have an express lane in the morning's registration that ends at 8.30. So if you want to be in your booth ready by 9, I suggest getting here before 8.30. If the floor lobbies tend to uh, will fill up before nine o'clock, we will open up the floor once the lobbies are open. The safest bet is to be in your booth at 830 and there'll be no concerns. Uh, the, the show is located in the heart of downtown Atlanta, right there, 75 John Portman Boulevard will be a good address to use to get around. Once you're here, it's really easy. Our hotels, with being in, the, being in the heart of downtown, a lot of our hotels are within walking distance. We do have an open hotel block that is still active for another two weeks, so you can link that through the website. If you need to book any of travel, uh, you will do so on the website. I want to point out the two that we recommend is the Westin and the Indigo, just for ease of access to the show. So the portal is where you completed your August application. The portal is going to be your friend through this whole process. You first will go on there. Your deadline for payment was Friday, last Friday, uh, July 1st. If you haven't made your final payment deadline, please do so accordingly, as you will not be able to register for badges until you have paid in full. There's uh, and lighting, if there is a dramatic price increase, if you choose to order lighting on site versus doing it ahead of time. So please order lighting through the same portal. Look for the little Harry Potter lightning bolt and that's where you can order all of your lighting. If you need help with your portal, please contact any of your sales managers. We're here to help you as well as the support at imcentershelp.zendesk.com will be a direct access help as well. There's currently no mask mandate in the city of Atlanta. If you want any more information on the mask mandates, please visit togethersafely.com. So badges. Badges are very important here. We are located in the heart of downtown, so you must have your badge at all times as they will not allow you into the show without a badge on. So your badge portal is different than your uh, application portal. So again, this is not the same place that you're putting in your application or your electricity. It's a different portal. Your entire staff, including your temps, need to be in your portal. The best way to do is everyone needs to have a different email and phone number. That would avoid any confusion. Notice that the emails are not coming in from your sales manager. The emails are coming from your expressreg.net. So please keep an eye out for expressreg. Those are where your badges will come from. You're going to get two, uh, two emails. When you first sign up, you'll get an email, and then you're going to get another email a couple of days before the show with the actual QR code. If you and you first sign up and put everyone's name in, you don't get that first email. I want you to go back to your portal, your badge portal page, and you will click on the envelope that shows the it's circled. It looks like a little email. Once you click that, then it will show sent, and you should have gotten an email right away. If you did not get one at that point, please contact your sales manager. We need to see where the disconnect is, so that way you can get your QR codes. Now over to Evan. She's going to go over a couple of show tips and more. Thanks, Bill Ann, and thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to go into some pre-show tips here. So first off, we recommend doing your research before the show. Reach out to boutiques in the area. Invite them to market. Post on social media that you'll be here. We have a hashtag, ATL Apparel, and then you can tag our handle at Apparel Markets. As much as you can scream from the mountaintops that you'll be here, the better, as it will drive traffic to your booth. We also encourage show incentives to help buyers place an order with you at the show. Free shipping is a great example, gift with purchase, et cetera. 
For marketing, this is a free opportunity. You can send us any of your high resolution imagery. If you've not already, um, you can reach out to Avery Lamb. She emails everyone prior to the show to download any of your imagery. We push this to marketing. We don't promise usage, but um, we do push this to the team to use in emails, social posts, and on-site signage. There are paid opportunities as well. You can rent pedestals or mannequins or windows displays throughout the building. You can contact Avery for this as well. And then there's several advertising opportunities such as EVOS, giveaways, banners, water bottles, you name it. Gabby Smith is your contact for this and she can be reached here as well. So we're gonna dig into some photos of market and kind of wrap our head around your booth display and tips to make your space stand out. First off, to understand your booth package, uh, Dietrich with Fern is on this call as well, and she'll go into more specifics, but each floor and category has a different booth package associated with it. So be sure to um, clarify that with your sales manager. Also confirm your booth size. If there's a column or anything funky about it, um, your sales manager will have specified this, but be sure um, that you're super clear on that booth size and details. The booth display tips, um, signage, enlarge photos, branding logos, backdrops, all look really great and help draw people to your space. Everyone loves a photo opportunity, so if you have a well, with branded signage, anything like that, it's always a good perk for buyers. Um, balloons are the hot booth display um, look of the year. If you plan to do balloons, there's a few important um, restrictions there. It needs to be within your booth height restriction. Um, again, ask your sales manager this, it varies by floor and some spaces have like an overhang. So just check with your manager. Um, also balloons cannot be blown up with helium because it is a fire hazard. Another tip here, um, a secret tip that is proven success is booth, um, Booths have hard flooring, so if you pay for the extra padding from Fern, um, that will make your booth more comfortable and buyers stay longer. Um, they're on their feet all day, the floors are hard, so to have comfortable flooring really makes a difference and encourages them to hang out there longer. Um, another thing to note for planning your display, the flooring is naturally like a short gray business looking carpet. So um, we like you know this ahead of time. So you don't purchase gray carpet because it will blend in. White looks great, a fun color um, or a rug from home. Leads me to my next tip here is you can bring anything from home, make it yours. If you have a great rug, table, shelf, furniture, anything to give it a personalized look as long as it meets your um, size requirements. Lastly, natural elements definitely enhance well-being of your display, flowers, plants, um, shell baskets, anything like that. And we'll go into places you can rent that in a little bit. Last tip here, easy to grab placement of business cards and lookbooks. Sometimes the buyer is in a hurry. They may love your booth and want to come back and just not have time. So anything that they can quickly grab on the go with your name and booth number is very helpful so they can circle back throughout the show. And as mentioned earlier, giveaways and show incentives as well. At the show, of course, hospitality is number one. Be engaging, be happy, be friendly. Um, other vendors most likely have been in your same boat um, as being new, if you're new. So chat with them, see if they have any tips and make friends that makes the show all the more enjoyable. And collect as many business cards as you can from buyers. Um, a lot of new exhibitors get nervous or might forget this. Um, this is your ticket to your outreach for the next market. So at the show, collect as many business cards so that the next time you're here, you can reach out and tell them to come by, check out your new collection and to keep building that relationship with them. Lastly, we have a lot of events and networking opportunities, so take advantage of that and be sure to attend those. They're a lot of fun and free food and drinks. I'm going to touch on this um, lightly. Some of you may already know this, but I just want to remind everybody 
that you don't interrupt a buyer or an exhibitor if they're already in conversation in another booth. You don't want to be the person that goes in and tries to grab them. Um, we do restrict that, and it's not the right um, trade show etiquette. You don't want to solicit uh, handing out business cards or brand information and bathrooms, escalators on the show floor. We will ask you to stop. And then be mindful of the other exhibitors booths. Don't place anything outside of your space that would block theirs. We have a full list here that you can read through. This slide is super helpful. Um, the flowers and greenery mentioned. Um, we love Atlanta Flower Market. There's a Target and Ikea, CVS, Ice. Um, we also have several permanent showrooms. If you forget any mannequins or displays, you can buy some there and of course rent through Fern as well. And now I'm gonna hand it over to Dietrich with Fern to dig into um, the portal and your booth packages. Thank you, Evan. So the deadline has already passed, which is July 7th. We ask that you go into Fern One View to place your orders, not to your sales manager, not via email, but go into the portal to place your order. We also ask that you put a form of payment into One View for any kind of walk-ups or additional things that need to be added to your order. If you have any questions, you can reach us at the email below at amcapparel at fernexpo.com. Once you have your invitation, this is what it looks like here. You can click on the purple link, which is a tutorial, and it'll take you to the video to learn how to use OneView. Or if you're familiar with the process, you can just go ahead and get started. This is your main dashboard. This is how your event information to the left of the screen and all your tasks listed below. Um, to order your packages, you would go to the booth package and included items there. And you would select your complimentary packages. And also any kind of modification of shells and rods, you can do that there. And there's a form also attached that you can add to the cart and you can modify your order there. Also, please, we ask that you add, again, a credit card on file. If you need to order any additional tables, chairs, any other accessories in your package, you can do that as well in the booth furnishing section of the screen. And you can move forward. Okay, so the Fern Service Desk is located on the back side of the third floor. In our hours operations, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. during show hours. If you have any questions, please reach me at the email below, or you can give me a call at 404-220-2624. Okay, so once you arrive, if you are on floor one, Young Contemporary and also Cash and Carry, this is what your booth would look like here. Now, please note electricity is included on floor one. For floor two, the premiere and accessories and shoes. This is what your booth looks like here and also for apparel. Also, please note that we have an additional package, which is a combination package of both shelves and rods. So please make sure you order properly or you will end up having to do a modification fee on that. Also on floor three, we have the accessories and shoe packages, which comes with shelves, risers, and tables and chairs. And then your hard wall package, please note, go through your show manager first prior to ordering the hard wall package on floor three. And there is an eight foot height restriction. Also on floor three, we have the grid wall package and also the rolling rack package. On um, Young Contemporary floor four, this is what your booth will look like there. And on Young Contemporary floor five, lights are included within your package. And I'm going to turn it over to Brian. Thanks, Dietrich. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Brian Richardson, Operations Manager. Uh, we are definitely looking forward to hosting you all at our August market. Okay, so I get, I get to go over some of the fun stuff again, uh, our building. Uh, let's start by reviewing some of the facility rules and regulations. So on decor, we love a well-decorated exhibit space. We just kindly ask that you not adhere decor to our in-house walls or columns that may cause to damage upon removal. Uh, we recommend uh, command strips or any products with a low tacky adhesive or residue free. On a safety note, uh, the fire sprinkler heads. Uh, so to remain compliant with the city uh, fire regulations and codes, we must maintain an 18 inch clearance around all sprinkler heads. So imagine an 18 inch dome around them. Uh, we just had an incident, so please be careful. Also, please do not hang product on them or block them in any way. 
Uh, this also includes the water supply pipes. Um, so especially no lights or electricity um, on those pipes. Water and electricity do not mix. On paint, uh, please uh, plan and prep your display prior to market as painting uh, on the exhibit floors it is not allowed. Okay, steamer. So we do offer a complimentary steamer station located on floor two uh, in the Northwest Quad, so uh, near the cafe area. Please be mindful, there's only a limited number, uh, but they are open to the public. Be considerate of others. Uh, steamers can also be rented from Fern on a first come first serve basis. All right, so moving on to shipping. Uh, we start accepting inbound freight starting on Wednesday, July 7th, excuse me, 27th, and that'll go through Monday, August 1st. Uh, we do encourage you to get it in a little sooner um, considering the Tuesday start date and we are a vertical facility. Um, we also don't recommend UPS S uh, or FedEx ground due to some shipping issues. Uh, if you need shipping labels, uh, there's a link located in your service manual for your convenience. Uh, and then on privately owned vehicles or POVs, uh, they can use uh, utilize the William Street dock um, on that Sunday and Monday uh, for move in. So that's 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then moving forward, we do ask uh, that you use the shipping request link to the job form also located in your ESM or this presentation um, or in your welcome email to make dock appointments. This really helps us um, internally. If you have any questions outside of appointments, please feel free to call the loading dock at the number provided. Uh, dock appointments are required for all uh, freight deliveries, uh, pickups, and POVs. And POVs, just to clarify, meaning uh, privately owned vehicles, uh, cars, vans, pickup trucks. Uh, so no uh, rental box trucks, U-Hauls, or trailers. Smaller vehicles will be given priority access to the loading docks. Okay, move in and set up. So again, our date pattern is a little bit different as Belan uh, mentioned. So our move-in dates have shifted to Sunday and Monday, July 31st and August 1st uh, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on both days. Uh, with that, during move-in, please be considerate of your neighbors while moving in. Uh, let's all be friendly and work together. Also on a safety note, we need to keep the uh, aisles clear um, at all times, just in case of emergency. Uh, so blocking emergency exit doors is strictly prohibited. You may also ask, uh, what can I do with my empty boxes once I'm set? Uh, we have freight empty stickers that can be picked up at our firm service desk. Uh, just simply label uh, your boxes and crates with the exhibitor information, and our logistics team will remove them from the floors and return them to your booth at the close of the show. Um, just as a reminder, please be set and ready at 6 p.m. on that Monday so they can start that process. And then lastly, for Go Live, uh, we do understand uh, that social media sales are booming in the apparel industry, um, and we're here to support it. We just encourage exhibitors to go live during show hours. It's easier on everyone. Uh, but if you need to go live after hours, please pre-register with your sales manager in advance. Uh, further details with a link to register will be sent out soon. And then Go Live will be hosted on the first two nights of each show. So for this show, that's Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Go Live is not allowed on any move-in days for safety reasons. All right, and then now I will pass it back to Boan. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. So Evans just went over some great tips for selling, which is our focus. And yes, we love the padded carpet. We'll be in your booth more with padded carpet. And thank you, Brian and Dietrich, for going over ways to avoid the fire marshal coming to your booth, which is super important. So let's go over a couple more details about the show. So Wi-Fi, there is a free public Wi-Fi. This is more just for generic use on your phone. If you need to run your POS system, I would not suggest running it over this, as well as if you need to run a go live system, we suggest ordering your DSL. All of this can be ordered ahead of time, so it's ready to go when you get to the show. So move out. So move out, it will be August 4th at 6 p.m. Again, 6 p.m., not 4.45, not 5.45, 6 p.m. Please travel accordingly. Please book your travel accordingly with this being a busy airport. All of your, uh, your uh, labels, boxes, pallets need to be, all of your boxes and pallets need to be labeled. Um, if you need to print anything out, you will find a printing office on the third floor. 
I promise you that shipping shipments will go out on Friday morning. You may not see tracking movement until later on Friday, but everything does go out. It just takes a little bit for the tracking to pack, catch up with it. Again, as Brian mentioned, the POV form, you have to submit the POV, uh, the drop form for if you're a POV vehicle. You will get a flyer on the last day in your booth giving further instructions, but you can book those appointments ahead of time. The logistics team will be on the service desk on floor three afternoon on that day if you have any questions about storage or move out. So you will receive a bill of lading from whoever, if you are shipping out, whether it's through AMC or INT, you will get that. If you do not have a bill of lading, you will need to get that from the service desk. You will also have a material handling agreement. You can turn in the material handling agreement on all floors. So floors one, two, three, and four, back by the elevators or the escalators in the back corner will have a desk and you just need to return your material handling there. You must submit the material handling agreement, just letting us know what you're doing with your items and where they're gonna go. So that way we can be accountable for them if something happens. If you do not submit them, we cannot guarantee that everything's going to get where it needs to go. So then after, what comes next? Then we have our final show of the year, October 12th through 14th. That is a Wednesday through Friday show for the last one. If you go ahead and put in your application before the show, that will get you in for a drawing of $500 booth credit every night. The deadline to apply for the October show to keep your booth would be Thursday, August 11th. Uh, the number one question we're constantly getting is how can I get a bigger and better booth? And the answer to that is consistency. The more you show, the better booth placement you can get and the further towards the atrium. So I'm gonna flip it back over to Evans to go over some of our most commonly asked questions. All right, thank you all um, for listening this far. We um, love a planner and are glad y'all are tuning in to hear this. Um, some of you did submit some questions ahead of time. So we wanted to cover the answers here. Um, we do get asked a lot, where can I get signage made for my booth? There are a handful of options here. Fern can handle printing for you. Also the printing station on floor three that we talked about. And then there also is an Alpha Graphics and Kinko's right down the street that several exhibitors use as well. Another question, what does the cleaning part mean? on the electrical form. This is referring to in the exhibitor portal under the lightning bolt, um, there is an option for cleaning. This is if you'd like your booth vacuumed out each night before the show starts the next day. If you do not select this, your booth will not automatically get vacuumed out. However, the aisles and general areas, of course, are cleaned and vacuumed um, at the show, before the show starts each day. Question three, what food offerings are on show site during market? So we have a handful of food vendors at our show on each floor. We will have one open during move-in. Baja will be um, a Mexican restaurant open during move-in. Um, Mexican, we have a fan favorite, Chick-fil-A, chicken salad check, a deli. We've got several food offerings. There will be a QR code at the show that you can scan and see what's available. Also, you'll have a booth drop with this listed as well. A lot of you ask how many people should I plan on having in my booth for staffing? A typical rule of thumb is two people per 100 square feet. Um, you don't want it to be overcrowded with staffing and intimidate a buyer to walk in or feel too claustrophobic there. So that's our rule of thumb, two people per 100 square feet. Of course, um, you do what's best for your company too, and you can plan accordingly on that end. Um, as a new brand, will I receive extra permission at market? Yes, deadlines do apply for this, but we will have line listings of all of our new brands at market. We'll have this on show site. We also use this list to email out to buyers and on social media. Again, deadlines apply earlier, the better for sign up. So always know that before each market. Big question here, can I serve alcohol from my booth? This is illegal. Um, we have a third party we work with for all of our alcohol and food services. You must order it through the link here or email Shannon Hunt if you'd like to serve any alcohol from your booth. If you do have it, you'll be asked to put it away as that is something that we monitor and it's the city of Atlanta. And I think this answers everything you pre-submitted. 
please remember we are here to help. You can reach out to any of us before the show. Um, it's definitely a partnership. So we're here to help you have a successful show and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.